Hello, uh, you have your unprofessional videographer here. I was, I've been looking for another gun project to do. Um, I built a Mossberg 500, sort of a tactical home defense gun. I made a video of that. Um, I like coming down and working on guns in my basement. I'm an amateur gunsmith, obviously. Um, I enjoy just doing it. Well, I was going through my gun safe today, and I, I, well, first thing first, I went to my local pawn shop. Um, they have awesome, sweet deals on guns. And I went in there, and they had a real nice Remington 742 um, 6 And I told the guy, he says, yeah, put that on hold for me, you know. And that's going to be my next project, like a deer rifle. You know, do her up nice, nice, you know, woodstock and checkered woodstock and all that and it was been mistreated but uh it was like 200 bucks but anyways i was digging through my gun safe or both of my gun safes and i was looking around going boy you know i wonder what i can work on here and i came across these two boxes stacked they were stacked like this and i thought well, what the hell and i picked them up and they're like empty boxes and i just set them aside i thought well what you know who put those in here because I don't, I live with a roommate, and uh, I thought, well, this is a, well, you know, I didn't even look at what it was. Well, on further uh, review, I opened the boxes up, and I went, $149.99, what was this? I opened them up, and here, two Smith Wesson m and lowers for the AR-15. 556. Five, so, 223. Two, mm -hmm. <coughs> so, there's the first one. I opened up the other box. There's another one. And, uh, and I'm si I was sitting racking my brain. I was going, well, what the hell? Where did these come from? Well, then it dawned on me, oh, yeah, I remember I ran out and bought these before the Sandy Hook. Or after Sandy Hook, excuse me, before the ban. Because I knew it was coming down the pike. And I was looking and I thought, well, Jesus Christ, where did I get these? You know, it took me like a, I don't know, half of the day thinking, going, well, I rushed into a gun shop and bought these. Now, at the time, they were $149.99 from one of my local firearm shops. Okay. Uh, of course, now, these are, these have gone up considerably in price. And the cool part is, I didn't, I, like I say, I just found these today. <laughs> The cool part is they have consecutive serial numbers. One is, you know, serial number da 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 zero two nine and this one is zero three zero. So that's nice. So it was I got a hold of my dad and I says, Hey, I says, Do you remember when I got these? And he goes, Well, I don't know, I don't know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working on building two ARs. Now, this is probably the worst time in history to try building an AR fifteen rifle. But it still can be done. So I went digging through all my boxes of gun parts. And I found just a couple of these standard A2. These are like the Vietnam 20 inch, you know, hand guards. I got these at gun show for five bucks a piece. And then I was digging around, found a couple other parts. This is a front sight for the A2 upper. And I was luckily found a trigger and uh, trigger group with all the roll pins and everything. So that'll be enough where I can at least get it in one of these guns and then a trigger guard with the roll pins. So I don't remember where I got these parts but I just throw all my parts in some boxes and uh, so yeah we're going to start building. The, the reason I'm making this video is because when they talk about the gun ban if you want to build an AR or you want an AR this is what you need. This is the gun. Okay. I built another one. I made a video on that too. You can check it out seems to be popular but the prices are different now I built that for 550 or 580 dollars excuse me and that included a mag alright that was from this website called rangersales.com I see they're currently down for service well probably out of business because they just couldn't keep up and uh, I bought the all the parts this is what you need okay this is considered the gun you can buy every other part for this right off mail order Okay, some people don't understand how you build an AR. 
and all the trigger parts. You know, that other gun I built right here in my basement. So I'm, I was just making a video on this. These are going to become my next two projects. I'm going to build one for my dad and one for me. Uh, you know, parts, parts availability willing, questionable, but... Um, if we can find the parts, we're going to build them. But, yeah, Smith West m and P's, I, and, you know, what a fucking idiot I am. I was, I'm not that inept, but I was digging around my gun safe, and I just threw those boxes out of the way. I thought, well, what the hell are these doing in here? There's empty boxes. And uh, then I opened them up, and, ooh, you know, because these are just aluminum, these AR-15 mowers. So, point being is, if you want to build an AR, you're worried about the gun ban, get online and try and find... Uh, Try and find a lower. Okay, these are not going to be $149.99 for an M&P now, but you can find other lowers. They're basically the same. I've got another AR with a stag factory blemished lower that I, at the time, got for 100 bucks. You know, so if you want to build an AR, you're worried about the gun ban, get one of these. This is what you need. Okay, the government will regulate the the production and manufacture of these babies. But it'll be hard for them to regulate the parts. Because I could start up a business in my garage making barrels and lower parts kits for AR-15s. And I don't need to have an FFL or any of those federal because it's not considered the gun. It's just parts. Pieces, parts. So, my two cents worth and I'm going to start building these babies up. I can say I didn't, as of this morning, I woke up and didn't even remember I had these. I, you know, talk about stupidity. So, uh... Let's start building, and I'll make a video on how, you know, what parts I'm using and, and what we're going to put in them, and I know he wants more of a tactical, and I want like a prairie dog puncher, so I'm probably going to put a 20-inch barrel on mine, but the uppers, all you do is pop this pin out and you pull the upper off, so it's not, it's not anything monumentous, but, uh, but yeah, so if you're, if you're looking, if you're scared about the assault weapons ban, get one of these. Right now, the MMPs are about 200, and uh, the no-name kind of lower-end ones you can find them for over 100, you know. But it has to be shipped to an FFL, so have the fees and this and that. But just my two cents worth. Thanks for watching.